Okay, so now that we have uh, our byte table built, now we can encode the string. So how we're going to encode the string is uh, literally s is mapped to these two bits. So uh, when we want to represent s, we write 1, 0. A is 1, 1. 1. Uh, L is 0, 1. So from L, 0, 1. L, 0, 1. Y is 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. Space is 0, 0, 1. E, uh, S, 0, 0. E is 1, 1, 0. L is 0, 1. Zero, 1. L is 0, 1 again. S is 1, 0. Okay. Space is going to be 0, 0, 1. Okay. So now continue down here. Uh, now we have S versus E. So that's S, 1, 0. E is 1, 1, 0. A is 1, 1. Uh, space zero 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 one uh, L is zero one L uh, L zero one S zero and then exclamation point is <laughs> okay so I completely forgot H S H so space is zero zero one sorry about that S is one zero H is zero 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 one E one one zero L is zero one. L is zero one. S is one zero. And exclamation point is four zero. One zero three four. Okay, so I love that you can't read on the video. It looks like you might be able to, but um, so note that S S is the, are these two bits. A is those four. L is these two. Those two. Y is these four. Space are these three. S E L L S space. You see, when you put boxes around them, maybe it'll make more sense. Well, so, uh, so you can see how, uh, how we represent how we represent with less sense. To decode, all we're going to do is, uh, let's say, we'll leave the boxes here just for a little eight, but to decode, start at the root, and we see one, so step right. We see zero, step left. I am currently at a leaf node, so I record that character. S. Yeah. Go back to the root and continue. So I see one, step right. I see another one. Another one. Another one. I'm now a leaf node, so record this character and go back to the root. Continue. I see zero. I see one. L. And a leaf node, go back to the root. I see zero. And I see one. L. Go back to the root. I see one. I see another one. I see another one. And I see zero. Y. Go. So that's how you're going to encode and decode. Uh, decode using the big table to encode it, uh, and then use the tree to decode.